Hello and welcome back to Ready Controls YouTube channel. If you are passionate about automation and control systems, you have come to the right place. Today, we are excited to delve into powerful feature in Studio 5000 Trends for Troubleshooting Machine Problems. Channel introduction at Ready Controls, we are dedicated to empowering automation professionals with knowledge and the tools they need to excel. Whether you are just a beginner or you're looking out to deepen your expertise, our videos are designed to help you navigate the complexities of automation technology. In this video, we'll focus on one element of Studio 5000, which is trends. Trends are a uh, great tool which helps you when you're troubleshooting machines and it can dramatically enhance your ability to troubleshoot and also maintain system performance. Uh, several areas where we could use trends is either troubleshooting a nuisance alarm or troubleshooting the machine to find out uh, the cycle time of a machine and several uh, several areas right so in this uh, episode we will go through the capabilities of trends and how do we use trends and how do we capture the trends and how do we export the trends import the trends how do we export the data and share it with others okay what you're seeing right now in front uh, here is a sample program which is running on a compact logics uh, basic logic just a cycle start automatic start and then once the machine is in automatic cycle start we'll sequence the machine through step numbers and then each step number we have a eight sec eight second uh, step time for each step and then in step 10 we turn a yellow light and in step 30 step 20 we turn a blue light and then once we are in Step 30, we turn yellow and blue, and once we are in step 40, we go back to step 10. Okay, basic logic, nothing um, fancy about this logic. So, now if we want to troubleshoot, say this machine is stopping for whatever reason, and we want to know what step is causing the machine to stop. In those cases, we want to use trending, right? So there are multiple ways to start a trend. Actually, two ways. We could right-click any tag in the logic. Say we want to trend this. So we right-click trend step number. We could monitor the step number. It will give you what's happening uh, with the trend number. Or you could right-click here go back to the logic and uh, main logic right click and trend step number when you do that a trend window opens up uh, a best practice is if you want to look at your logic to find out what tags you want to trend I would always put them side by side you just uh, click on the title drag it down it will open side by side and now we can come back here i can work on multiple windows this tip helped me a lot and i zoom out and i want to know i want to keep this open that way i know what tag names i need to look for to trend so now the trend is automatically created and it's running so if you click on the y-axis it will give you the properties of the y-axis if you double click on the x-axis it will give you the properties of x-axis and you could click that you could change the graph title and all that we'll go through all of that in detail for now we will stop this trend right click chart properties in general you could display the title and you could say my first trend whatever name suits the application display this uh, display milliseconds is a good option if you are uh, if you want to display the millisecond that helps you in cycle time analysis so you could get uh, the details and everything else is same continuous scrolling system time setting display pen values display time and icons and in the pens is where you could also change the font if you want to if you want make make the font size big you could just 
do that but anyway go back to the trends uh, in the pens so i selected step number so i can add configuration if you want to add a new pen you click this add configure tabs but before adding let's go through what are some of the things we could change i could change the width i could set up the type style and you could set engineering values max and min values description any uh, description you want to know here you just like step number that helps you when you want to see what it is rather than a tag name but we'll go ahead and add new tag so we want to know the step number and we also want to know how long is that step right so we have some timers so we will go ahead and set up step underscore timer you could type it since once you put underscore it will filter it out you could either drill down or you could just type timer and it doesn't and then you could drill down as timer one so we want to know when the timer is you could do accumulator value that will tell you accumulator value and then we want to know similarly we want to know step 2 accumulator value step 3 accumulator value 1 2 3 4 and then we will add all the lights so we can just backspace it go down search backspace it and Add configuration here. Now we say green. So we want the tag to be green. Say okay here. Apply. We need the green light one. And red light. Add. And then we want to know. Step timer one dot preset timer two preset and then step timer three preset. So one of the thing to remember you could only have eight tags to be trended at any given point of time. That's what I wanted to show. So I kept adding more than eight. So that's now your trend is done. You have eight tags all the tags names are here and you apply say okay and run the trend now when you run the trend you have all the tags trending up here right this this is good this is a good thing but if i want to get some more details about individual so you could at this time it gives you all the values here for each tag but one of the thing I like about trends is isolated graphing if you go to the y-axis and click isolated graphing say apply say okay we stop the trend and run it now each pen has its own isolated window where you could see the values right one thing we note is our y-axis is set up for small uh, only two seconds let's change it to two minutes that way we have a longer window 
where we could see how the values are changing so two things i changed is change this one to two minutes and then did isolated graphing and at any given point you could see all the values and if you want to know how long it took from the machine to go from step 20 to say step uh, 10 to step 20 you put your uh, collect this data and then that's about 14202 and then you 23162 that's about eight seconds which is our preset time anyway right so this is all good we have this data now if you want to save this data somewhere you hit you stop you could save trend log as you could save it as a tbs file if you tbs file lets you open the tbs file using only studio 5000 in this one i want to use a csv file and i could select the time or i could hit save all and we'll hit save and let's see how the file looks like and i'm already in the folder where it's saved in projects step two we'll open it with notepad and that's it it gives you the name of name of the plc the name of the trend number of uh, sample period eight milliseconds there is no start trigger and no stop trigger we will go through that in the in a bit start time and time number of pre samples and post samples and then it gives you the time date and then the values of the tag this is good if you want to export this and share with other technicians this works too okay now this is good we have a trend we know how to look at the trend values what if we cannot be at the machine to keep running and stopping the trend right so there is an option where you could automatically start the trend or stop the trend okay so let's if you look at this um, the way how the logic is we want to trend what is making the machine stop right so we want to use the stopping condition on the line to start the trigger right so that's here in the start trigger so you have a start trigger and a stop trigger start trigger value starts the triggering to start the trend stop trigger will stop the trend okay so we will go ahead and uncheck no trigger option and we'll come back and say okay i want to start this trending when the machine stopped for us say whenever the machine dropped out of auto in this logic so i will select red light 3 an operation is exact equal to target value of one and we say okay 100 samples before or you know, two seconds before or 10 seconds before eight seconds before apply right now what happens is the trend will start automatically whenever this condition is met on um, and we should also have a stop trigger we want to stop it when the machine is running okay which is green light one so we want to we do the same like eight seconds after let's say we apply so now what we did is we created two conditions one is a start trigger when the machine stopped and one is a stop trigger when the machine started we say okay and when we hit run you could see the machine the trend is no longer trending as you can see this is just stopped right because our start condition was when the machine stopped so now i will stop the line by using the stop push button one two three now red light is on i we the trend started trending so if we want to analyze like when the machine stopped we were in state 10 like we were in state 30 and then we just stopped the machine 
this is a manual stop but if this was all happening due to some other condition on the machine you could capture that now if i go ahead and start the machine back up the trending stopped 8 seconds after the start so it trended whatever sampling time so if you look at the chart properties we started trending exactly 8 seconds before the machine stopped and we stopped trending 8 seconds after the stop trigger condition so this is uh, a good way to use trends to troubleshoot machines and now i can export log this save trend log as we can use csv file and we just call it um, up to one you could capture all and you could say start and stop conditions with triggers and we save we'll open and see what the trend will say now so now it tells hey this is has a start and stop triggers and it will you tell you what is the start trigger condition what is the stop trigger and all the values okay if uh if you want to share this trend with other technician you could right click on the trend export the trend it will export it as a lfix and they could import it back so we will show you just we'll export it to the say version 2 export so it's exported we will stop this trend now if i want to import the trend back i can open import trend and i can import it back now i have trend yeah when i imported it i did not save it that's why the import did not work so let's uh when i close it it will say create step number 2 say yes you have to run through and finish let's see what's happened here okay so we don't want these trends you want step 2 trend so that's how you save the trend and you could import the trend let's see what happened to the start and stop conditions start and stop conditions are still there yep so yep that, uh, that's how you do uh, setting up a trend for troubleshooting and sharing the trends with your other technicians and exporting data and we'll go through yeah once the stop is there it started trending okay so that's all um in this video i hope you like the video just a just a summary trends are the powerful go to tool when you're troubleshooting the machine when things are moving fast at the machine this is a good tool to diagnose the problem if you have any questions please post them in the comments if you like this video please uh, hit the like button share and subscribe share this video with other technicians who could benefit that's all thank you very much for your time